Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to jump right into the video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I woke up late for work this morning, so I just want to do something really quick and easy to show you guys something like if you're in a hurry. If you guys want to see how I get my quick look, just keep watching. Um, I just washed my face and now I'm going to be putting on my Clinique Moisture Surge. I just got this for Christmas and I've used it before. I absolutely love it. My skin is super dry and especially in winter it's like 10 times worse and it's actually snowing out today which is like the second time already this year and I can't believe that it's January already. Time goes by way way too fast. Next I'm going to be taking my Smashbox primer water and just spraying that real quick just to freshen up my skin. I got this new foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the 220 Natural Base. And I've never tried this before. I've been using the Better Say Skin one. And I'm in the Classic Ivory of this one, which is crazy. But um, I like this. It's very, very liquidy. So when you guys use it, just make sure you pour it out really slow because I didn't realize it. It came out so quick when I first used it and I got it like all over the place. But I just take a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I take my beauty blender and screw it on. Alright, now to highlight and conceal, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser, and this is in the color Fair. And then again with my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend all of that in. Alright, next I'm going to be setting that concealer. I'm using Maybelline's Shine Free Loose Powder. I love Maybelline. Maybelline is definitely my favorite drugstore brand. I use it all the time. It's just like my always like my go-to drugstore product that I use all the time. Alright, so I'm not going to be baking or anything. I'm just going to be quickly brushing and setting the areas where I concealed. I'm just going to be doing my brows and for my brows I actually use eyeshadow. Now it's super easy and I've tried so many brushes and you know different pencils and stuff but eyeshadow has just been one of the things that I've gone to and there's so many more array of colors to, to match what you like to do for your eyebrows. And I actually found the perfect color in my Morphe palette, <laughs> the 350 palette. I'm going to be using this brown, lighter brown color. So I take that on a small brush here. This is my Lancome smudge and liner brush and this little small edge works perfect. Alright, so next I'm going to do my eyes last because usually I just throw on some mascara, but today I do want to put some lashes on. So I'm just going to be bronzing and uh, contouring a little bit. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. You can see that I am almost out of it. I've been using it. I use it like every day pretty much. So I'm just going to be using this um, dark middle shade right there. Now 
Next then, with a big fluffy brush, I'm taking my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and going back over those spots where I contoured just a little bit just to blend everything together. And then I'm also going to be taking that down on my neck. Moving on to some blush, I'm going to be taking, yeah, I'm going to use my So Susan Universal Blush today. I love this. If I think I got one of this one in my one of my glossy boxes, I haven't gotten a glossy box in a while. Just I've been trying to save some money and kind of minimizing what I'm spending. But uh, this is pretty awesome, though. I've never heard of them until I got this in my glossy box, and this color is just like gorgeous. It goes with like everything. All right, next I'm going to be highlighting taking my Mary Luminizer by the Balm and a fan brush. Then I also take it and put it on my eyes right here. Just really, really lightly brush it. Not adding more product just whatever is left over on my brush just to give my eyes a little bit of a highlight there all right so the next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Colossal mascara and just putting a small coat on my top lashes and my bottom lashes because I will be putting on some lashes just because my eyes look weird with just mascara sometimes they will if I'm like super rushing and I just don't have time to put lashes on but uh, today I want to do lashes and as always I'm going to be using my Ardell um, Demi USBs to use I absolutely love these so much and they were about to get one half off at CVS so I just of course had to get a few but they look like this and you get them in their little uh, case here and usually they're only like five bucks which is super cheap and if they're buying get one half off why not get them I usually just put lashes on with my fingers but I've been using a tweezers it's just a lot easier to get more precise on the eye and closer to your lash line as possible. So the glue that I have is Kiss Ever Ease Lashes. It has this little tiny like spatula on the end, which is pretty easy to apply the glue to the lash line, to the lashes. So I let that dry for a couple seconds. They say usually to let it dry for like 30 seconds but it usually dries pretty fast anyway. Okay, and lastly, I'm just going to be putting on some lipstick. I got this new color um, from ColourPop. It's their Ultra Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Vice. And it's a really, really pretty soft, like, baby pink color. I'm obsessed with it. And like when you do like a look like this, you can go for like a more bolder lip if you want. But today, since I'm just doing like really quick, I just want to look really kind of light and fresh just going into um, work today. I'm doing a pinky nude lip.
guys awesome so that is my final look i hope that you enjoyed my quick little get ready with me and i have to go to work now but i will see you guys in my next video make sure if you like this kind of video give me a thumbs up leave me some comments below what you guys want to see next and make sure you follow me on all my social media i have my instagram facebook and twitter and make sure that you subscribe for my next upcoming videos i hope you guys have a fantastic week and i will see you next time bye